You've crash landed on a strange planet. Violent alien life is trying to take you out, and the only thing between you and certain death is the dome. Dome Keeper is a 2D resource management and defense game that originated from a game jam, with a gameplay style that reminds me of SteamWorld Dig, a visual design that reminds me of Metroid, and a je ne sais quoi of indie game Kingdom. After your abrupt arrival, in which your ship crushes an unknown entity beneath it, you proceed to do what miners do best. Dig. The core gameplay of Dome Keeper is drilling into the ground in order to get resources, but these resources are spread out all over, so you're gonna have to take some time to search for it. There are some strategies and even items to help you along the way, but I didn't really find it necessary. You'll take those resources back up, but ah ah ah, you can't take them all at once. If you take too much, your character will slow down and even stop moving, so you'll need to drop a few in order to get going. And why do you need to get going? Because the monsters are coming! Breaking down the thin layer of glass that separates you from the violent masses. Monsters come in waves, which you can plan for using an early, cheap upgrade that shows the incoming waves based on a meter. Once you've got the goods, use those resources to upgrade your dome, tools, and technologies, which thankfully pauses the game so you can contemplate the best options at your leisure. You start off with one dome, but you can unlock more with each run. You have different varieties, such as Shield Dome, Farts Dome, Penis Dome aka Sword Dome, and also a tree one that I haven't unlocked yet. Use your lasers, sword, or farts to defeat and repel these hostile alien creatures with each wave introducing new and tougher enemies that you will need to take down depending on the threat level they carry to your dome. I love this game. I love it, love it, love it. The visual design with its moody, solemn, isolated backdrops in each map, the satisfying sound of your drill as you delve deeper into the center of this planet. And actually, now that I say that, are we the bad guys? Are we depleting these creatures' home of resources and destabilizing the terrain with our ceaseless drilling? Ehehehe. <laughs> Weird. Anyways, drill deeper, baby. And did I mention there are pets? After a few deaths, you'll get a good rhythm for how cheeky your dives will be. I tend to play a bit risky because I see all the resources and I want! Give it to me now! but my greed did have to take a backseat at times. And if normal mode is a bit too easy for you, don't you worry, my puppet for punishment. Dome Keeper has two more difficulty options, the highest of which is the developer intended. But most importantly, get Drillbert! I don't care if he isn't useful for late game, okay? If you reject the adorable dino drilling companion, I reject your place in humanity. All in all, Dome Keeper is a beautiful, well-crafted game that offers plenty of replay value, and in my opinion, an absolute must-buy. Let's drill our way to the Lightyear High Club together. Genie Lamp. All of the Genie Lamps!